Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Winnebago's newest Class B. This is also one of Winnebago's smallest and one of Winnebago's least expensive motorhomes on the Class B market. This is a 2022 Winnebago Solus Model 59P in the dark cherry red. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things we love about the Solus and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited today to be taking a look at a Winnebago Solus, one of the best value Winnebagos on the entire RV industry. But before I begin, Gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea, you're Jen, hey, Will's guys. wife. How's it going? What's going on? Well, we are here at the Colrain Family RV here in Cincinnati. We're on our way back from Elkhart, so we figured we'd stop here on the way home. But what's really exciting is Colrain is actually a Winnebago dealer. Yes. And we haven't had Winnebagos on the show in a long time, so really excited that we get to review some. Yeah, Andrea and I, we've been hanging around Florida and Texas so much, and we haven't made a trip up here because the weather's just now starting to turn. So thank you so much for recording yeah, this Winnebago with us. And Jen, we weren't in Elkhart, we were also in Tennessee. Why? For the first ever Matt's RV Reviews Rally, which was a blast. It really exceeded our expectations. And we have our second one coming up in January. So that's at Camp Margaritaville. I think we have a few spots left, but you have to call Camp Margaritaville um, and tell them that you're with the Ra Matt's RV Reviews Rally if you want to be there. And it's going to be a lot of fun. But Jen, I can't attend the Matt's RV Reviews Rally because I have to go to the Tampa RV Show. Well, how convenient because the Tampa RV Show is actually the week after the rally. We, tam we timed it that way on purpose. That way, if people, um, um, we're interested in buying we could kind of be there to help them and we're, we'll already be in the area So it's it's really convenient if you're planning on coming to Tampa show Jen who plans a rally the week before the Tampa RV show, huh? Huh? Really no what smart people. Yeah <laughs> Jen, Let's begin So this is the 2022 Winnebago Solus 59p there is a model called the 59 PX I will explain the difference later on in the video the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 19 feet 9 inches. This sits on the Ram 3500 Promaster. It's a 3.6 liter V6 with 280 horsepower. Very nice, very fuel efficient, very small, nimble, easy to drive. Right up here, you got the LED lights here. Nice, um, nice big windshield right there. And the nose kind of slants down. It's pretty interesting. Now, note. This is a chassis, we'll find out on the inside, it's a 21 or a 22 chassis, right? The chassis part. The motorhome's a, a 22 as well. But in 20, but if you look over there, okay, that's a 2023 Solus. But that's what you call a 2023 part one, because even though that's a 23 Winnebago, it's still a 2022 chassis. Right. I know that's confusing. Uh, I did hear that there's a big redo coming for the 23 ram pro master chassis and what that means it might be a better read it might be a better upgrade or not here's what i do know it will be a big significant price increase so if you're on the fence and you want a ram and you like the way these are equipped make sure you grab one on these chassis while they're still affordable uh coming on down the side here the reason why we did this one and not that one is because this beautiful deep is it dark cherry or deep cherry I think deep cherry red. Deep cherry red looks absolutely fantastic. I love it. And we have the pop top, which is already so popped cool. up. Look at these tires, Jen. They're the Nexans. LT225-75 R16. Very nice. Right over here, we got the mirrors. No cameras. Okay. Nice Winnebago running board. Coming on over here, we got the entrance. Okay. These seats, I believe. Oh. That goes like that and like that. Uh-oh. I done messed it up. But I will show you how these swivel around in a little bit. And the cargo carrying capacity for this is 1,869 pounds. Very nice. Over here, we do have the sliding door. Okay. And look at that. You got the screen door right here, which is really nice. So now you, when you're camping, you can keep the screen door open. Make sure no bugs or mosquitoes or birds 
can get into the RV while you're camping. Right. And then coming on down the side here, we do have, that's where your propane is. Okay, and then Miss Jen, if you could add all the specs here. Bing! For everybody who is watching on TV. And then coming around the back. I love the Solus logo too. It's so cute with the sun. Yes. You know Solus means something like sun. Cause oh, sol does it? In Spanish, I think Sol, S-O-L, is the sun. Well, there you go. Right here, we do have the nice Hertz. Hitch right there, 3,500 pounds. Uh, technically, you can tell 3,500 pounds. We don't recommend that. But um, at our rally, I saw somebody with a model like this, and they're towing like a little 6x12. That's totally fine. Don't tow. Do not tow a vehicle behind you. Oh, good. Dang nabbit. There, there we go. go. Right here, we have the nice rear door, okay? Now check this out. The Winnebago, this one's 19 feet, 9 inches. I believe the Winnebago Solus P 59 PX is 21 feet. And what you get, it's like a little garage area, uh, perfect for like a bicycle. You okay, know what I'm saying? Cool. And there is little D-rings. This one doesn't have that, but this one fits in a parking spot, you know? Right. It depends on what people are looking for. Love this. This is what Integra uses for their hookups. Yeah. City water, it. outdoor shower, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Power and a little solar. And then right here we do have the netting, which is really nice. It's a bug netting. Again, you can keep these doors open while you're at a nice campground. And then this one's really neat. You see how the bed's flat? Yeah. We're going to leave it like that, but we are going to raise it up when we go in on the inside. And then we got our privacy shades here. Oh, snap. And do you know what this is? Oh, it's like a clothesline? Clothesline or... Or for a shower? Yes, ma'am. Curtain, nice. Oh. Are you okay? Cassette toilet. So there's no shower okay, in Okay, so you... So this is where you could shower up. Oh. Because you've got the outdoor shower yeah. here and everything. I actually prefer this because truthfully, Class B's, you're not... Dude, my shower is a 24 by 36 and I'm struggling, yeah. right? And so let alone a wet bath or a Class B. Yeah. So I like how they're And that's so easy to set it. up too. Yep, yep. So very nice features. We're going to leave that open. Okay, then finishing up, coming around. We do have 30 amp power right there. Okay, very nice. Right here. Here's your cassette toilet where you take it out. Oh, you might have to push that button in. What button? You might have to like push oh, yes. it. Oh, yes. Yeah, and it stinks from the land. <laughs> there you go. Now you can travel with your poop. And, uh, <laughs> take you it wherever you. you want. So how this works is you, you bring this with you. You go into a Loves or a Pilots or a truck stop. And then you take it and then you actually dump it into the actual um, toilet. And then you come back. Stop, pop, and roll. Hey. Feel it. Right here, we do got the Truma Hot tankless water heater. Right there, it does have a gray tank, Jen. So oh, the gray right. water is going somewhere else, and then you're able to dump it there. Very cool. And. Okay. No generator. So there's no generator on this. So what this is going to have is it's gonna have one of those under the hood generator alternator mm -hmm. things. So very nice. <laughs> the seats real trash. Listen, the deals are sweet here at Coleraine, but the air isn't. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't shown them there's a landfill oh, right there, that's why. Right, <laughs> big landfill. Actually what's crazy is, so we're in Cincinnati, Ohio, and is the town name called Colrain? I think it's like, like Colrain the street Township. name, right? So, and like we're we're over at the Bob Evans, and they even they have one of those things to off gas. To off gas. So like I feel like the it's whole town's just built on trash. Just a trashy <laughs> town. Be honest. No, <laughs> All right, here's where you fill up your fuel. Believe it or not, it's not a trashy town. It's a really nice town. Don't get offended, but it is kind of just built on trash. Um, so right there we got little storage and everything. Very very nice. Well, Jen, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, guys. I'll show you the cab up here first. All right. I got the ladder up to the pop top. Very cool. A few chairs right here and a table. Got your kitchen. How do you do this door? Oh, 
There's your, oh, you got a shower in here too, Matt. Oh, okay. So it's a whole wet bath. And then your bed and, and uh, table, everything back there. Perfect. And Jen, this is a class B, so we're not going to do the RV life ad. Guys, make sure you get RV life. Uh, we're giving a, a free week trial to give it a try. It's the camping season now. Um, you also get 25% off. Go to rvlife.com, type in promo code Matt's RV Reviews for the free week trial. Make sure you guys get it. Not enough people are getting it, so it makes us have to say it more. Get RV Life. It's the camping season. RV Trip Wizards, the best app. That's how we were able to navigate to Cincinnati, and we made sure we were under no low bridges. And believe it or not, Will and Jen, they turned off their navigation for going from Tennessee to um Elkhart. And what happened the one time you turned it off? We were taken under an overpass that was like an inch taller than we were. It was 13 6. And we were holding our breath going under it, and hoping that we had our measurement right. <laughs> with the with the RV Life Pro Safe Wizard. It would not have taken us that way. There you go, guys. Customer te true testimonial right there. Jen, special guest, please sit up here. Right. Oh, snap. What? Oh, right. America. Okay, guys, maybe, I'm so sorry. Hold this real quick. I'm so sorry, America. This might be the upgraded chassis because look what we got going on here. Nice touch screen. Push button start, new steering wheel. So this says the 22 chassis. So maybe this is the upgraded one. I'm so sorry if, okay. I, if I'm miss, that we're misinformed. So this is a 22 chassis. Like this is a 22 okay. chassis. So maybe this one is the difference. See, I could have sworn though that they were going to change the headlight design, um, and maybe they will. I, you know, maybe the 23 chassis will be even better. Yeah, I mean, we read these things all the time, guys, and we don't know. Like we read it on RV business, and we don't know until it right. shows up. But Jen, tell us how you feel. Um, it feels really nice. Like I always hear you and Andrea say how like with the Dodge Ram chassis. You feel like you're like up high. You all right over there? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that looked like a movie. Like how much right. I was. <laughs> right. Um, so you definitely feel up high, but you feel like it's kind of nice because it just feels really easy to drive, honestly. Like yep. you don't feel like you have a real like big front end going on. So easy to drive around and navigate and everything. So I feel like that area is a little different. I feel like you're back a little bit. Like you still can't see the nose. Yeah. But again, it is a little bit more comfortable. And what was going on here, I don't know what the heck was going on, but like, All I was suits, like, sorts of maneuvers. No, I was like, see, I don't even know what happened. Well, like that, right? Maybe it's right. what you have to do to. <laughs> right? Like these are like some extreme movements, right. but still pretty nice. You got your cup holders here, nice power windows, your controls. This is probably a place for you to put your cell phone. Cup holders there, very interesting. Again, Jen, I can't help it. I still feel elevated. Yeah. You know? It does feel a little bit better, but even still, I mean, you got a good six inches. So if you have a long torso, yeah. like Will might be hitting his head on this. Oh, he probably would be. Um, you got an SOS button, an assistant, lights. You know, this is very nice. I, yeah. I, I And I do like the fact that it is the push to start. Yep. Um, You know, Ram's really listening to the customer feedback sector and uh, doing a good job yeah if you want to climb on out jen all right we'll figure out how to turn this seat around all right good job i bet you it's in that position that you swivel it now there we go we did it jen very nice hear what i will say those seats doing those up oh man see this is nice because i feel like i'm not sitting too low yeah you know what i'm saying i i can even lower this you know what i'm saying part of the living area like you know what this is like well, it's not doing it now but it's almost like shooting me out of the seat but uh it's really nice i'm not i'm part of the living area look how my feet are like directly touching the floor and everything yep. this seat also swivels down to become part of the living area and it's very very nice jen i'm a little too heavy for that ladder would you like climbing up there to sure. just show everybody Absolutely. what do you say here we go now. <laughs> Here we go now. If you guys don't know who Jen is, um, she's the editor of the show. She's Will's wife. And she also they also have their own YouTube channel called Will and Jen. Yeah. Now, th there's going to be th those things. You're going to want to undo oh, yeah. them to let in natural light. Nice. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Got one on this side. 
Very nice. How does it feel up there? It's honestly not bad. I could sleep up here for sure. Right. Honestly, what about Will? Could Will make it? I don't think so. Nope. But two like average size adults could sleep up here. Yeah. I don't know what the weight capacity is. I don't know Let's either. Says it up here. Oh, it says maximum one person. Oh, well then not two average adults. Nope, not two average adults. Perfect. Oh, anyway, I got distracted. Uh, Will and Jen have a vlog channel and also helpful RV tips and tricks. Make sure you subscribe to Will and Jen's channel. Hashtag Jen. Hashtag <laughs> Jen. And then over here, so one. The ladder goes up. Oh, that comes off. Oh no, that extends. Oh. So maybe it just comes up when it's all together. Had to hook on again, didn't you? Get that ladder out of the way. Fan life. <laughs> you couldn't live in a van, that? No. Down by the river. So go outside, please. Okay. Can you see it? You can, yep. See how it just, fabric just compresses in? There you go, man. And then what you do is, you take these locks, if you come on in. Take these locks and pull this down and then this. This is almost a little bit of a two person job. No, it's just, you just need to be more talented than me. And then it hooks onto that and you go like that. Okay. Very nice. Same with on this side. And then also there's this here. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hooks in like that, guys. It's just an RV review show. <laughs> and then we go like this. If you step all the way out, please. Watch your head. On up like that. Just like that. Very, very nice. Jen, come and show us this kitchen area. All right, guys. Right there first, though. Yeah, I'll show you. Here's the fridge first. Little side mini fridge, not too bad. What do we got going on above there? Oh, here we got, so that's a coach battery on and off. Um, oh, that's like a cigarette lighter. Yep. USB, two USB plugs, and then some of your light switches. Perfect. All right. Coming over here, we have a two burner suburban cooktop. Okay. Right. Now, now there's some things that say something about, no, it does say comfortably sleeps too. Oh, okay. So maybe the ladder's just for one. Oh, like one, and, well, that makes sense. Right. But again, always check. Yep. So you guys can, can pause this if you want to read some of the things about the Solus. Yep. And then down here, this is cool. We've got a pull out um, countertop. I don't know if it's supposed to like pull all the way out. Like if you want to put it on top there or maybe mm. just extend like that. Okay. And then, what is, oh, so you can, oh, so this just has a little lock. So when you're going down the road, you can lock that countertop into place. All right. Storage up here. Yes. These are cool locks. Alright, drawer. Then we got some storage space under here. Very nice. Outlet here. Got another outlet here. A little spice rack. Okay. And then we got a, a faucet and a little single bowl sink. Yep, and you looks like you got a little bit more storage right there. Yep. And then that does have, I don't know if you can see, an adjustable shelf. So. Nice. Something that we didn't touch on was this over here. Very storage nice. right there. Here's your uh, solar controls, heated tanks, Truma Hot Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater, LP battery, gray, LP on and off. Again, no generator. It's gonna have the under the hood alternator that helps charge. This right over here, Jen, it's a little bit of storage for like tools right. or stuff like that. I do like the flooring. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's on a chalkboard. And then this is nice, Jen, because this seat can actually safely travel for people. Yep. Personally, Sit in the middle there. Yep, and I'm working as like Andre yeah. is driving down the road. Very nice. You do got these nice windows that open up this way. So when you go through the drive through, you can still you can still <laughs> say your order. Hey, can I get a uh, ten spicy nuggets? <laughs> and then again, uh, this is just a uh, standard MSRP. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, normal. It is deep cherry red. 
Then it says chassis 22 model year 12,814. So that is probably that upgrade. Um, I like the table. This also turns around so you guys can play cards or whatever. And it's really nice. And another thing that I like is that the table it can does. maneuver. Yeah. Yep. So that's very, very nice. Little LED lights there and everything. And we do have a little bit of storage up under the, or above the cab. Jen, this is a long class B review. I know. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. MSRP on this unit here at Colerain Family RV is $131,913. Jen, that is MSRP. The family RV price of the Colerain family has it at $113,975. Jen, that is a phenomenal price. But here's what I can promise you. Colerain is part of our RV retailer family. And we also sell Winnebago's in Albany, New York and Vermont, New York or Vermont, and then somewhere on the West Coast. And Jen, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter if you're buying from RV1 in New York, Colerain here in Cincinnati, Ohio, or whatever our West Coast dealership is, you guys go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact form that you wanna buy one of these. We're gonna get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Now Jen. This is a cool, you gotta just kinda yank it a little harder. There you okay, go. first, towel holder with Ooh, the Winnebago logo. That's cool. Yes. Here's the bathroom. I'm actually quite surprised and impressed that there is a shower. Um, also, there is uh, towel holders. Also, do you see what these are? That's to put shelving. Shelving, yep. yep. So if you don't need a bathroom, you can use it for storage. As toilet oh, that's is. that's cool, but it turns. Does tor tor do the roll. I mean, truth. so it's plastic. So we're not gonna pass it, but truthfully, it's not bad. Because a lot of times these Class Bs will try to slam you in. So at least this way you can just poop freely in the RV. But on, um, Jen, this is not a prime pooping position. And it's plastic. Jen, we got new shirts coming out. Give me porcelain or give me death. Coming out July 1st. <laughs> is it June? It you got to design that, Jen. Okay, We're running out of time. Know. Well, you don't need to design it, put the font or whatever. It's going to be a limited edition t-shirt drop July 1st. Give me porcelain and give me death. Okay, now we're back here. Okay, so first and foremost. Comfy? Van life. Yep. It is what it is, y'all, when it comes to the van life. We got storage above here. What, what are Look we seeing? Some stuff up here. I don't know. It's in bags. Oh, that's like a privacy is. curtain. Oh, okay. And then over here. Nice. You got some plugs in there, too, so you can charge stuff in there. Yes. Here windows right here with the blackout shades and everything and then what is nice is this area does fold up okay i mess with that a lot that is very very nice mm -hmm. so it locks in the place there then oh this is cool jen that's not cool you know what it is what Van life. But I don't know if I've seen this before. It's very neat. It is neat. Now you have a little table area back here. Um, this folds up. Very nice. You got drawers there. Little cubbies here. Okay. Little pocket cubbies there with the netting. I like this accent light too. Yeah. And then here, a little more storage for your tools, your power cord, your hiking gear, whatever you need. I mean, you can fit bikes in here, kayaks, everything. Well, Jen, and to wrap it all up, we got a Max Air fan right there. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about the Winnebago Solace and three things we just don't like about it. Jen, what do we do first? Let's do dislikes first. Okay, dislikes. So dislike number one. Well, I actually have one first, Matt. First? Yeah. Go right ahead. Right, actually, right where you're standing. Uh -huh. I don't like how um, this doesn't become like two seating areas that can face each other. It's kind of limited because this folds oh. up. And so you can only sit here. And then it's kind of awkward with the table where the position of the table to the... Um, 
to the chair. Well, not only that, Jen, I, you know what? That's dislike number one. Dislike number two, I don't even think you can sit here because this cabinetry. Oh, right. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? I don't like that. No, you can't sit there at all. So there's no sitting area back here at all. So it's kind of like, why do you even have this table? Right. Right? Like, how are you going to use it? Right, because you're all your chairs are in the front there. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. That's number two. And then, Jen, do you have a number three that you feel strongly about? Um, uh, not necessarily if you have one. Okay, I always do. Jen, it is the cassette toilet area right there. Don't like that. And actually, you know what? I am going to combo it. The step here and the steps there. Yep, I was There's thinking a lot of that. different steps. We've almost fallen out of this RV several times. Um, just not, not super fun. Yep. That, but it is van life. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Jen, now it's time for three things we love about this. And truthfully, guys, this might be the first Class B motorhome where I truthfully have more likes than dislikes. Yeah, I would so, say that. Do you want to go first? Yeah. So my first like is definitely this pop top. Yes. So I love that. I think like it just expands how many people you can sleep in a Class B so easily. And you know, what's funny is I, I've seen these in Europe a lot and it's cool that it's starting to become more popular in the US having these pop tops on vans and stuff. You know what, Jen, since you mentioned Europe, tell everybody where we're going this summer. We just booked it. We just booked it the other day. So in what, August? We are end of August, we're going to do Dusseldorf, Germany for like the world's largest RV show, right? Yes, it's the Caravan Salon um, and it's just Europe, baby. Yeah, and we're excited because they have all different kind of motorhomes. I think it's a lot of like B plus, Bs and B pluses over yeah. there, but we're excited because it's all new stuff we've never seen before. We get to go check it out and, and visit Europe. And this is why you guys got to subscribe to both Will and Jen's channel and my channel. At the Dusseldorf RV show, I will be doing RV reviews on European style RVs. Will and Jen will be doing vlogging of the, the show. show. Yep. So it's the same, but it's different. So that's why you gotta subscribe to both channels. Yeah. Jen, that is like number one. Like number two, Jen, can you tell us? It's all these four chairs coming together into one seating area. Yes. All, all the seating up here, really. And that these swivel around, and you can sit here with four people and play cards, yep. and eat and everything. So this is a really nice feature. Very nice. And again, the fact that like a fat person can sit back here, you know what I'm saying? That table is a nice seat. Yep. Works really, really well. So that's number two. And then Jen, number three, I mean, I have them. It's just like, which one do I want to select? Right. Do you want to go? I mean, you're the guest of honor today. I, I like what they did with that wet bath. What? Wait, did you say you didn't like the toilet? I did. I'm sorry. No, you know what I like? It's a combo. I like the fact that Ouch. you're all right there. Yeah, go. <laughs> van life. Right in the knee. Hey, <laughs> van life. <laughs> so I just, you know, for it, obviously like van bathrooms are never that great, but I like how they made the, the, the seat to swivel so you can have more space. And I like how the fact that you have the option to shower in here if you want to, but they still gave you that. Um, wet bay and that shower rod back there. So if you wanted to shower outside because it's small, you can. You can make this storage. So I would have said that outdoor shower, but I must not concur with the bathroom. But again, guys, that's what's so great about the show and it's opinionated. And I want to add a couple things. I love the deep cherry red. I think it looks fantastic. And I love how this is the 50. I love how they make the option of the 59P and the 59PX. If you're trying to stay under 29 or 20 feet, this is it. 19 feet, nine inches. I love that. And if you, if you don't mind being 21 feet, then get the PX. But Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching the whole thing. Again, guys, it's been a long time since we had Winnebago's on the show. And if you guys are interested in this Winnebago or any Winnebago, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact form. We'll fly you to Ohio. We'll fly you to New York. Um, and if you want to drive back with your Winnebago or there, there is a West Coast dealership. Um, but we, we will get you a Winnebago if you guys want one. And we promise to get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Jen, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments what you like and dislike about the Solus. Winnebago will be looking and, and listening to your guys' feedback. And also, like Matt said earlier, make sure to go follow Will and I over on our YouTube channel. No solicitation. Yeah, no solicitation. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll have that down below. And we document a lot of the travels that we have to do with Matt to film and everything. We just went to the Alliance Rally. We had our rally in Nashville. So we have those videos coming up soon. And then, of course, our big Europe trip will be coming this August. Can't wait to see it. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Jen, we'll see you next time.